All right, what's up, everybody? We're back again here at Out of Space TV. This is my. This is the Shark Tank. No, maybe I don't know. We're gonna come up with a name for it later. Something. Something. Yeah, I think that's trademark now. Shark Tank. Uh, space Tank. Vacuum. No. No. We lost it. Octothorpe. <laughs> no, no. Okay, we're gonna call it S G S J G R. Shit just got real. That's what we're gonna call it. Okay. That's what it's called. Shit I have no idea what's about to happen. Shit just got real. It's gonna get real for Kevin really fast. All right, so here's the deal. Um, Kevin doesn't know what's coming. I'm going to ask him some questions because I want you guys to get to know how well he knows things. And I want to get to know that as well. Also, it's just fun. And uh, so, yeah, here we're going to go. Uh, actually, before we even get to the quiz part of this thing, I okay. want to just tell Ke Kevin one idea that I came up with. Really funny. It is curling to make the cur the sport of curling more exciting this is when at the olympics when they put the stone on the ice and they throw the stone and then they boot the broom mm -hmm. thing and that yeah, it's yeah. shuffleboard on ice to make this more exciting we combine it with game of thrones so it's called game of stones hold on first you light the stone on fire so that already makes it more exciting also makes it 10 times more dangerous because you're going to fire on the ice, fire and ice. See, I didn't even read these books and I and don't see the TV show. I already know this. I know my stuff. All right. So <laughs> fire and ice. Also, the people who are doing the brooming, they have swords because they're being attacked. So, it's, so the people who are throwing, throwing the stone are the wildlings, right? Wait for it. And they're throwing it at the wall, the wall, get it? And then the people who attack, they're the, the night's watch. So they attack them while they're trying to broom it to make sure that the stone ends up at, instead of the ring, you know, the center of the target, it's the gate on the wall. The one, that one, okay. the, the one thing I know about I mean, the wall. I am actually very impressed at how much you know of Game of Thrones without having This is only this. from, all I know is this from like the last season, because this is, I got all this from the last season. So yeah, Game of Stones, you light the stone on fire, wildlings throw it down the ice, they're shuffling, the Night's Watch come out and they have to fight them while they're trying to shuffle things and then and then if it gets in the into the hole or whatever it they blows up the wall and they get through and they win so sam mark saying would you watch that olympic sport <laughs> this is why this is why i wanted to do this <laughs> how do you think of that i don't know man this is my brain this is why we record these things Okay, so this is the real meaning of the segment. I'm going okay. to, this is what I did. So while I was at work today, not working, uh, I decided to look up some, uh, not, not like a movie, uh, brief synopsis of a movie. Very oh, brief. background, um, if you didn't Listen hear the, the first episode, yeah. uh, I have very spotty movie knowledge. Either yes. I know it very well or I don't know it at all. Right. So this, the aim of this is to test some of Kevin's movie knowledge. Now, I might do this, not just movies, comics, maybe other things in yeah. the future. Uh, and everything will have a theme. So I have a theme for today. I'm not going to reveal it until we're done. I might not even reveal it when we're done. It might be up to you guys, the viewers, to you know figure it out. Or in the future, if you want to give me a topic to quiz Kevin on or give Kevin a topic to quiz me on... And email it to us or post on the YouTube thing. We'll figure it out and then we'll, you know, torture each other this way. Mm -hmm. Maybe this should be called the torture room. No, it doesn't sound good. No. Shit just got real. That's what it's called. All right. So here we go, Kevin. We got yes. you have 10 of these and you have to tell me the name of the movie. For name every, of the movie. Name of the movie. Okay. Okay. So here's the first one. <clears throat> a manipulative Southern Belle carries on a turbulent affair with a blockade runner during the American Civil War. Gone with the wind. Okay, good. He's one for one. I haven't seen it though. That's fine. You're one for one right now. All right. Luke Skywalker joins forces with a Jedi Knight, a cocky pilot, a Wookiee, and two droids to save the universe from the Empire's world-destroying battle station while also attempting to rescue Princess Leia from the evil Darth Vader. You could have just said Luke Skywalker. I but know. anyway, uh, Star Wars Episode Four: New Hope. All right. Yeah. Well, I had to get into that detail so that you knew exactly which one it was. All right. Next. A woman leaves an Austrian convent to become a governess to the children of a <sighs> naval officer. Oh. Uh, a, uh, oh. Oh. Um... Sound of music. Yes, good job. You're three for three. Four. Uh, a troubled child summons the courage to help a friendly alien escape Earth and return to his home world. E.T.? Yes. That sounds really generic. You're, I know. That was a really generic one. That's why some of these are really easy. Some of these are, really, are kind of out there. All right, so you're four for four. Here's number five. A 17-year-old aristocrat... Uh, well, sorry. A 17-year-old aristocrat expecting to be married to a rich... 
I don't even read this one. Claimant by her mother falls in love with a kind of with a kind but poor artist aboard the luxurious, ill-fated artist oh, Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> yes. I, mean, I had no idea what that's going to be. I know the very last, the last word. Line, I should have just not said the last word because that would have given it. That gave it away. I haven't five, seen that either. Me neither. Five or five. All right. Six. The Egyptian prince Moses learns of his true heritage as a Hebrew and his divine mission as the deliverer of his people. Ten Commandments? Yes, that is I correct. I haven't seen that. We're running out of time. Hurry up. This is lightning round. All right. Seven. When a, gi- uh, when a gigantic great white shark begins to menace the small... Jaws. Okay. Eight. Life of a Russian doctor slash poet who, although married, falls for a political activist's wife and experiences hardships during the Bolshevik Revolution. The pianist? Nope. Yeah, one more guess. You're never going to guess this. I would never have gotten this. I don't have a clue. Dr. Zhivago. So you are, you are seven for eight. Nine, when a teenage girl is possessed by a mysterious entity, her mother seeks the help of two priests to save her daughter. Poltergeist. Nope. One more guess. Oh, the exorcist. Yes, there you go. There we go. And number ten, Snow White, pursued by a jealous queen, hides with the dwarfs. The qu- Snow White and the seven dwarfs. Yes. All right, I'm going to give you the theme of this one. This is the top ten grossing movies of all time adjusted for inflation. Really? What was that Russian one? Dr. Zhivago. Zhivago? Yes. Never seen it. I've heard of the name, but I've never seen the movie. But yeah. So this is the top ten grossing, grossing films of all films. times. And that was from most gross. So total money, not profit, just total money. Total money since their release, and it's adjusted for, for uh, inflation. And this is, yeah, this is worldwide box office. So, and those are all in order, descending order from 1 to 10. Oh, wow. I could have, if I had known that list, I could have gotten those. Yes, exactly. See, that's I got so a lot cool. of them. Yeah. I think I only missed one, the Dr. Zhivago one. I was very impressed, Kevin. I'm very impressed. So, but, well, those are all the classics. Right, exactly. Which is, you're lucky that I didn't go, well, maybe you would have done better if I did. I was going to do the AFI top 10 films of all time. But I, I could have actually gotten a few of them. I don't even we'll know do that for the next episode. No, we're not doing that now because now you can study. Uh, we'll do it for some other episode. The point is, I hope you enjoyed this segment. We're, we're going to try doing various segments in the future. We're kind of running out of time because of batteries and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but yeah, so let us know if you like this stuff. Please comment, like, follow, tweet, outofspace.com, uh, at gmail.com, out of space on Facebook, out of space on YouTube, out of space on Twitter. Oh, out of space TV. Sorry, don't forget the TV. Out test space TV on all your social networks, Tumblr's, Facebook's, Twitter's. Find us. Find us. Follow us. I'm Archimedes on everything. Literally anything that you find: Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, whatever, uh, and YouTube. Internet. We'll put stuff in the description. It'll be there at the bottom. Everything in the bottom. You want to buy a T-shirt? It'll be at the bottom of the thing. Yes, this is a hand, not handmade, but you can buy T-shirts. Every T-shirt I wear from now on, you can buy that. Kevin, you can buy his shirt if you go to RIT. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And Kevin, you can find on Tumblr at administrator-cook with the E at the end. Exactly. Anything else you got to say, Kevin? No. Nope. We're out of time. Awesome. I had fun. You had fun. Yes, Everyone I did. had fun. You better you have should. fun. Okay, good. All right, see you next we'll time. We'll see you next week. Peace. No, I can't. Not say peace <laughs> Every anymore. time. And uh, I need to sign off. Uh, later, Internet. Are you still recording?